Hi friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. It's March, the first full week of March. We're going to talk about uh, this week, March 6th through the 12th. It's a very, 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 very interesting week. Not only do we have some major transits and the full moon, um, but I want to talk to you about some of these energies that I really like. We have interesting transits with Uranus. Uranus is the planet of revolution, change, Things just kind of like being swept away. Think of like tower energy. But, you know, my favorite cardologist, uh, Diamond, you'll find her on Instagram and on Clubhouse doing her talks every morning. She says Uranus doesn't care. So it's the kind of energy that says what is meant for you will find you no matter what. Right? I mean, we could see this in all sorts of lighting, positive, negative lighting. And speaking of lighting, look at this amazing sunspot I have <laughs> right here. I decided to leave the door open and I'm speaking quietly because roommates are sleeping. But when I'm called to do the readings, that's when I will do them, okay? So yeah, full moon uh, in Virgo, the sign of health, service, and assessment. What are you, what do you wanna release this week? Have there been times where you didn't like or weren't necessarily pleased with yourself or with others how things were being taken care of? Has your health been not a priority? Um, or has your health been a priority? Have you accomplished something regarding your health? See, a time of release is also a time of completion. So either you're completing something or you're coming to terms with Something is where it is, and that we must find acceptance. Uranus is going to do all the work for us in terms of shifting things around. But So listen to this. Sorry, right, that was the full moon in, um, in Virgo. By the way, Monday night I'm having my free virtual uh, moon forgiveness ceremony, so I'll drop the link to that below if you happen to catch this at the early top of the week. Moving forward, I will try to put these videos out a little bit earlier so that when I do have announcements and things coming up, you can um, catch them with enough time to sign up in that. Moving on, Saturn moves into Pisces on the same day as this full moon in Virgo. Saturn moving signs is a really big deal. Um, the energy of this, sense of justice and willingness, imagination and creativity, passivity and sensitivity. Well, that's the Pisces, right? Monday, before the full moon and leading into the full moon, we have the sun, sextile, Uranus, independence, creativity, benefit society. Work on something to benefit society. That's what that is saying, essentially. And at the end of the week, we have Mercury also transiting Uranus. So introduce an element of contrast, up the stakes or bring fresh energy into something that feels that it has been stagnating. Um, and finally, Mars is sextile, Venus all weekend long, it's time to relax, find kindness and creativity and do something meaningful. So you see, at least the energies that I've connected to for this week, and there's probably a lot more stuff going on, and especially with the moon and stuff. When we, when we talk about the moon transits, we're talking about the emotional um, realm. And that's what we talked about last week. This week, it's like, there's a lot of fresh energy wanting to come in, everything, Everything that happened when Saturn was in, um, what was it, in Aquarius, is now enter is now connecting on that emotional deeper level um, by saying, you know, here's how I relate to this: Aquarius is the humanitarian. It's an air sign. It can see things from a very big picture. It's also the innovator. It's where we have a lot of ideas and make we're making connections. Pisces is now the opportunity to take that and make it personal. Okay, so we're making things personal. Where's your sense of justice? Where's your sense of willingness? Where's your imagination and your creativity? Where's your sensitivity? Because this is a time of weaknesses as strengths as well. And so when we think of sensitivity, we might think that's a weakness. That is your sensitivity, that's where you're... But no, that is your strength. That means you have something important to say about that. That's for sure. Or there's room for growth in that area, that's for sure. And it's a place to build strength and not in the way of like repressing or flexing some sort of muscle that allows you to hide your sensitivity. 
but the opposite. How do you use that to impassion yourself, to um, come up with creative solutions? How do you use that when you help yourself to help others with that same sensitivity? How does it inform you what wants to change? Uranus. <laughs> Okay, so sun is the ego, right? It's our identity. Mercury is how we speak, how we communicate our first impressions. And Uranus is dancing around both of those things. So make it a part of who you are. This is a time, this is the time to stand up for what you believe in, for sure. And, you know, I will say again, this element of contrast, it's kind of saying like, there's a, there's a volatility that comes by the end of this week. Um, that f makes it feel as though anything could happen because it's true. So what do you believe? What is, what is in your mind and your heart that could happen for you, for the world? What is that vision? So it's really important to um, be positive, be optimistic, be grateful, and use the depths of imagination and creativity we have during this Pisces season to really tap into what we are capable of. Okay. Yo, this, this week's gonna be fun. Let's do some cards. I'm back in my blue room, back home in Chicago. I'm glad that the sunshine has followed because I definitely feel the difference. Messages for the collective for this week. Messages for the collective for this week, please. Ace of Cups, Five of Swords, The Lovers, Nine of Wands, Six of Wands, Six of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Temperance, and the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like the Ten of Pentacles is showing up a lot. So is this uh, Six of Wands. Temperance has been showing up a lot. Okay, we have a lot of people here. Okay, so, okay. I'm really strongly getting that this is a reading for somebody who feels that they're in a pattern of um, some kind of relationship not working out. Um, I see the lovers here. This is a choice card um, in this instance. I also see this as the energy of Venus and Mars. Venus and Mars together. It's talking about the divine feminine, the divine masculine showing up. They are in a dance this week in a sextile, which is a 60 degree, I believe. Um, do something meaningful. That's this weekend. You know, there's more to that. You can look up additional meanings to that. But basically what I'm getting here is that there has been... Um, attempts to uh, heal a relationship or to create some sort of change and it's almost like well if you've done some change then you feel that it will reflect in your relationships I'm getting romantic relationships but could be any kind of relationship and there's also three folks three folks here so I mean this could be like a situationship or whatever. The King of Cups, the Page of Pentacles, and the Emperor. So I see Sag, I see Aries, I see Gemini on the table. Sag, Aries, Gemini, I also see the water signs. Um, oh, and Aquarius. Aquarius is here as well. Um, thematically, you know, if this is a relation about a relationship or whether uh, either it's a relationship or it's your own relationship with self, either way, there is a message here about 
understanding your emotions. So understanding how you how you feel either about yourself or, or the situation or about a particular issue. And what is the method that you carry that forward in to uh, create something in the world, right? If we're applying this back to the theme of the astrology is what I'm, I'm trying to get at there. It's interesting to see that there's been some success over a pattern, right? You've like gotten through something um, and it appears as though you've done it on your own. You did not necessarily have a lot of help from others. There are other people around and maybe there has been some, I see the Queen of Wands energy here, some element of um, affirmation or uh, just in general people around you validating you but not like receiving one-on-one -on -one help or receiving mentorship or someone taking you under their wing or anything like that so in that regard you've done this on your own um interesting for there to be a sense of validation you know the six of wands is about is a victory i think what this is referring to is the rejuvenation of spirit. So I see that there may have been some emotional challenges or physical challenges. I think physically what's happening, there's a lot of things maybe changing, things coming in and out of your life. Um, and so it may not seem that there is a lot to offer uh, physically, but what's happening is the rejuvenation of your spirit. Like you've overcome some sort of pattern either it's a karmic pattern or just a spiritual lesson or an ego lesson something about self-talk something about um i see definitely here this like desire to change how you uh, show up for yourself i see you trying different things i see the six of wands the six of pentacles and the lover's card which is the number six so whenever we see 666, this is not an evil energy, but it is called, it is wanting you to ask yourself, pay attention, what is the distraction? So in this case, I would say that the distraction is the appearance, appearance that you have overcome a lesson and that you have achieved some sort of ultimate success with this lesson. Um, because what we know about life lessons is that they come back around just in a different form or a different level of difficulty or something like that. So you may have, you may have been working on something um, over the last five, let's see, five weeks, right? Last month and a half, five weeks, six weeks and achieve some victory. But I think that there needs to be more planning for the future. And I say that because there's the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles in reverse coming up in the future position and the Lover's Card choices. There are some really important choices to make this month about where, is, where are your resources going? Where is your support and where are your resources? And what are you investing your time into? How are you also giving back? This is a card of um, mutual aid according to a more modern and anti-capitalist uh, definitions of this card. Otherwise, traditionally, we see a hierarchy, right? We have somebody with more giving to somebody who has less. Okay, but we, we have to realize we can be in any of these positions, either of these positions, at any time. So, see yourself in both positions. How do you ask for, how do you ask and get for what you want? And how do you, how do you open yourself up to give generously? How do we open that meridian, the, uh, the abundance meridian. <laughs> I don't know if I'm saying that properly, but how do we open the channel of give and take and build the life that we ultimately desire and deserve? The Ten of Pentacles is legacy. This is what your, this is also destiny, family, wealth, generational wealth, building something that's going to be long-term, lifelong term. And that's March. March carries that energy of the things that you do and decide for the month of March will carry long into your life. And I'm sure you've seen this message across many other channels on YouTube as well.
congratulations on overcoming, you know, if the, uh, this could have manifested as depression, negative self-talk, feeling like unreciprocated um, in some ways. You have overcome this and found your own love. And now there's like, there is some feedback coming in um, to say that you are making changes. Something is changing and we're moving beyond this period of time where we've had to be patient and we've had to try different things and try to get around certain blocks. It was a time of healing. Now is the time to make some choices, okay? Choices for the future. Where are your, Where is your support system? And what support system are you building in the world for others, for your community? Something that is going to be lifelong. Something that is going to last you. Okay. I'll leave it there. Thanks for watching, you guys. Um, please leave a like, share, comment, whatever the case is. And I'll see you on the next video.